Hi, Matt Yankovic here, HOSS, or Head of Open Source Strategy here at Percona. want to welcome you to another round of our Percona Tech Lightning Talks, where we're going to bring you the best of what's out there in the open source space, the best speakers, the best writers, and the best bloggers. We appreciate you tuning in, and we hope you enjoy the show. So, Mike, thanks for uh, you know stopping in and chatting with us. Uh, I read your blog on how to tune MongoDB after upgrading to more memory. Um, mm -hmm. You know, may maybe just tell us a little bit about your background. You know, you're you're you've you've been at Percona just a little while. I've been here for a really long time. You know, uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about where you came from. Sure. So, um, as you mentioned, I've been at Percona now for about four, almost five months now. Um, before that, um, I worked. Um, mostly in large enterprises um, here in the Western New York area. Um, my last job um, was at Paychex, a major payroll provider here in the United States. Um, we had a quite large MongoDB presence, which is kind of where I learned to cut my teeth uh, with MongoDB. I had been a relational database or DBA before that. Um, and that's kind of where I launched into the MongoDB uh, world, so. Well, and so me personally, I come from the MySQL background, right? And mm -hmm. so I know how critical memory is to MySQL. Right. Um, and and everything that I've heard and everything that I've done with Mongo, which is probably infinitesimal compared to what you've done, <laughs> um, is, you know, it requires as much, if not more memory. Correct. And uh, coming again from a relational background, um, memory is obviously, databases and memory are strict importance, but I think with Mongo, as you alluded to, it's, it becomes even more prevalent. Um, that, that's kind of its secret sauce, so to speak. So, so yeah. So, so the more memory, the better. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you know, you mentioned in your blog, you know, how to, how to tune it. What, what's the advice that you give people if, you know, Hey, you're, you're, you're going to go from 32 gigs to 64 gigs. You're going to upgrade to the next instance size in Amazon. What right. do you need to tune? like right away? What's the, the most critical thing? I know in like MySQL and in ODB, it's the ODB buffer pool. You know, what, 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 what do you do in Mongo? Exactly. So in Mongo, a lot of the times, I won't say strictly all the time, but a lot of the times you will actually use the default settings when it comes to memory. Um, I know in MySQL, you'd probably be, um, <laughs> you would probably need Percona's help if you did that. Um, <laughs> Um, because there's a lot, there's the default settings aren't um, very, very good. But on the Mongo side, uh, the default um, will do 50% of your memory minus one gig. So if you go from a 32 gig to a 64 gig, um, Mongo is going to allocate about 31 and 30, yeah, 31 and a half gigabytes to its um, internal to its wired Tiger cache, um, and then. The one thing that's a little bit different, especially when you compare it to something like MySQL, is MongoDB also uses the OS's page cache um, pretty oh, significantly. Okay. Um, so, and this that's why you're, because I know with a lot of other databases I've dealt with, um, leaving almost 50% of memory to not be used by the database's internal cache seems almost like you're throwing away memory, but. <laughs> ah, yeah, so yeah, so so it, it does use that that page cache for, mm -hmm. you know, the, the OS files and stuff. I mean, that makes sense, that that totally yep. does. Yep. Um, so maybe, you know, let, let me ask you this final question. So sure. um, really interested in what you see as, you know, maybe one of the more common problems that keeps on cropping up that if you want to tell people, look, in MongoDB, just, you know, this is the thing that annoys me that people do this thing. <laughs> What is that thing? <laughs> oh man, um, there's a couple. So I'll try to make them um, a little brief. Um, oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, MongoDB is still a database. It still will run faster if you use indexes properly. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> MongoDB is a database? I know, it's it's shocking, I know. I thought, but... <laughs> I thought it was set it and forget it. Wait, don't you just like push stuff in and it just magically works? <sighs> Unfortunately, not. Though they'd like you, they'd like you to think that, but um, okay. a lot of the a lot of the times I've I, what I've seen, um, and I've actually written some other blogs, kind of alluding to this um, on what developers and DBA should look for when they're when they're deploying MongoDB. Um, 
indexes matter. Indexes are going to make are going to use your memory more efficiently. Obviously, all this all the same things that have been preached for years in the relational DB world apply there. Um, the other thing um, is no kind of you have to know there's there all there was that premonition for or that saying for a long time that MongoDB is schemaless and we've kind of learned that that's not not so true or if it or if it is you're you're lucky um, <laughs> oh, wow. um okay okay <laughs> um so so kind of knowing your data since since you're not gonna not gonna always have a set schema, knowing your data is of, of prime importance with MongoDB. Kind of knowing your working set, knowing what you're working with. Um, because if you if you try and, and cram a lot of data into a small EC2 instance or and pick your provider of choice, it, it, you're gonna have a bad time. Um so so really it's more memory, better indexing, and don't forget the schema. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, All right. Yeah. So I mean, Sage Mongo advice, right? It's, yes. it's advice for every <laughs> database because it right. is a database. Exactly, um, exactly. But, yeah, but thanks, Mike. And um, I would encourage everybody to go check out Mike's blog. And, uh, you know, uh, we appreciate you listening. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate you watching today. We hope that you had a good time. Please leave us any feedback in the comments section below and let us know what you'd like to hear on future episodes. Also, if you get a second, please like these videos or these podcasts and go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn at these addresses.